while convalescent plasma is one treatment doctors have used on COVID patients. You've all also probably heard of another drug. Governor DeSantis has been working to get into our local hospitals, the antiviral medication remdesivir. But experts tell us there is a catch when it comes to this drug. 10 Investigate Jennifer Titus has more on how a testing backlog could affect patients who may need the drug. So I spoke with the director of inpatient COVID care at Tampa General Hospital, and he tells me remdesivir is really only effective if a patient gets it early on in their battle with coronavirus. But patients that come come along, you know, and are you know 10, 15, 20 days into it, you know, they're more in an inflammatory phase at that point, not in a viral phase, and probably giving them remdesivir is not really their issue at that point. Isn't that the the virus is replicating out of control is that their body is reacting to that virus and continues to react to the virus. And there's not a whole lot you can do from a viral standpoint to help with that. Problem is many patients aren't heading to the hospital for days after contracting COVID. Why? Well, it is still taken a week or more in some Bay Area counties to get test results back confirming someone has the virus. We reached out to local health departments and on average, most of our Bay Area counties are still taking a week or more to get results back. The governor did announce a few weeks back that rapid testing would be available at some testing sites, meaning results would be back in 15 minutes. And we did reach out to the governor's office to see if some of those rapid tests will be heading to the Bay Area. Guys, we are still waiting to hear back. And we reach out to the DOH in each of our 10 Tampa Bay counties to find out how long on average it takes to get test results back. You can see where your county stands at 10tampabay.com. Just look for this story. There are no specific treatments for COVID right now. However, there are several therapies that are being used on patients. Let's take a deeper dive into those. So you have heard of convalescent plasma, which is plasma taken from people who had COVID and recovered. Now, according to Harvard Medical School, it has been used for more than 100 years to treat all types of illnesses from polio to measles and chickenpox. Vitamin D may protect against COVID-19, according to Harvard researchers. They say it may help boost our body's natural defense against viruses and bacteria, and it may help prevent an exaggerated inflammatory response, which has been shown to contribute to several illness in some people with COVID-19. And a therapy you may not have heard of as much, which is dexamethasone. It is a class of steroids that lowers inflammation in the body. Now, according to Harvard, a recent clinical trial showed it decreased the risk of dying in very ill hospitalized COVID-19 patients. We have more on these treatments in a link along with this story at 10tampabay.com.